So the implementation process um, of energy efficiency is really critical. And um, where a lot of energy efficiency projects fall down is in implementation. So the implementation process must manage the design intent. The auditor says this, you need to make sure that that is then implemented. The number of times I've seen the auditor says this, the contractor says, nah, I'm not going to do that, I'm going to do this, and then at the end of it you come back and go, well, why didn't I get my result? You didn't do what we said. Okay, so translation, translating design intent into design, translating the design into a working outcome, minimizing your tenant uh, disruption, demonstrating that the outcome has actually worked, and of course, managing your time and costs. So you've got a whole stack of players in this. You've got the energy auditor, the, build the, service, the services engineer, a contractor, the building owner, the building management, the project manager, and tenants. And one party may take several roles in, in, in that, but you need to think about all of those roles. And you also need to think about how you're going to uh, procure this. You could go through a design and construct route. So you take your, your hand, your audit to the contractor, and they can't design and implement solutions. Of course, you know, the contractor may be the person that caused the problems in the first place, so you know, that may or may not be a good outcome. On the other hand, some contractors are really smart and they can do a great job. Uh, detailed design and build a plan. So you hand the audit to a design consultant and they design the works and tender and the contractor implements and the consultant checks. I'm afraid the same issues apply. If you get the right consultant, they'll do it right. If you get the wrong consultant, they'll go, nah, I don't want to do that. And you lose design intent and it doesn't work. The third option there is an energy performance contractor, where your energy performance contractor identifies and implements the solutions as a, as a single house, so one-stop shop sort of thing, and they guarantee the outcome. So there are a range of options, and it really is horses for courses as to which one you take, and it all boils down to the quality of the people. Okay, it's not really an institutional thing. It's you know, have you got the right people on the job?